Shlomo Noach of Tumas of Torah, this year is entitled The Rav on how to relate to our fellow holy tribes. Rav Slavetsik in his Chamesh Drashot, the five Drashot, the Mizrahi conference is given throughout the 60s. So in the first Drasha, the first lecture, he talks about Yosef of biblical times and the Yosef in the 1900s. Says Yosef in the biblical times had different, had very different ideas than his brothers. There's going to be a new future, different history than what's going on now. We have to be prepared. What well, verses? No, you're wrong, and uh, they ostracized him. He says so to him. Mizrahi, 1902. They saw that things are not going to remain the same in Europe. There's going to be dark clouds up ahead. We need to make a move, and they look. They were looked down. The holy brothers looked down upon them. But what's fascinating in the lectures the way the rub talks about the Aguda world. But a very different outlook than the Yosef Mizrahi world. And the fact that they were holy rabbis, great rabbis, leaders of communities, and the whole good the world, the whole Haredi Yeshivish world, whatever you want to call it, in the early 1900s in Europe. He always praises them, praises them, and praises them, even as he's disagreeing and saying they got it wrong. In the 1900s, they got it wrong. And he says it could be if these great rabbis were around in 48, 67, and subsequent years, maybe they would look different on the state of Israel. I'm not so convinced of that. Looking back with the hindsight of history, I don't know if uh, the leaders and uh, uh, the, the spiritual heirs of the rabbis from 1900s would look at now the state's created and there's so much Torah speciality. I don't know if they're looking at it differently or not. That's a debatable point. But... But the key point is the Rav, as he's criticizing his holy brothers and criticizing the good of the world, he says, just like the Yosef in the biblical times, it was so painful for him to be distant from his holy brothers, the holy Shvatim. So, too, it was so hard for the Mizrahi world to be distant, to be criticized, to be alienated from the holy brothers, from the good of the world, and everyone who subscribed to that world. To me, this is what I call a beautiful machlokas the Shem Shemayim. A beautiful argument for the sake of heaven. You're not putting down the other side personally. You're just putting criticizing the other side. Cognitively, ideologically, you think it's a mistake, but it doesn't detract from their greatness. You look at them as holy people who are just making a mistake. And sometimes it's a small mistake, sometimes it's a historical mistake. In this case, if the people would have seen history ahead of time, it would have been a very different, possibly. But that is, to me, how we should model. We should model ourselves after of Soloveitchik. Argue, argue with the Holy Brothers, but always with respect and appreciate the holiness in other areas, even as we see they're making a mistake in this area. And what a beautiful message for the three weeks, of course, when we mourn the Sinat Chinam that we have. It's too much already, and we cannot respect other groups, and we still have a lack of Migdash. It's all part of it. Shalom.